Hi friends, well my name is Vivek and today we have a topic to check logs. So let's say if you have an environment, a VMA environment and uh, you have some ESXi host and something wrong goes with the hardware or application or anything which is causing issue with the with the production environment on the vSphere. So how would you go and check the logs? That is very important. So today we have a uh, I have created over just one video for you and we will just go and watch I'm going to start a one ESXi host and launching with the ESXi uh, sorry launching with Poti session so I have a ESXi dot zero one a crop dot local uh, ESXi host I just open it here and now if you wanted to see how many logs will be there into the ESX server you need to type there uh, you need to go to ent enter first into the directory of var uh, let's say you need to go into the var now you are into the var uh, directory so you can just list how many direct how many logs will be there there is no logs at the moment but logs you need to go again to the directory of logs there you can find all the logs listed there now you can just do ls and you'll find the type of logs or you can just do ls space hyphen ll So you will find a list of all the logs which is residing into the ESXi host. So you can see USB logs, VDP1, many logs will be there, VM kernel logs, VMK warning logs. So we will start with first with the VM kernel logs. So I am quitting, uh, I am just going back to the environment, I am moving to the we're moving from start so I am at the level of first so let me type the command less var log VM kernel a mistake so now you see uh, I am into the VM kernel log at the moment and all the logs for the VM kernel has been it's been open now so let's say if you wanted to see some logs related to memory or any particular which you have a doubt might that that can that can be a cause of that issue so what you can do you can just uh, look for that particular keyword and start troubleshooting and check the stamp log uh, the timestamp let's say if I have uh, have a doubt with a VBE something this is the keyword actually and just I'm going to check my that can be an issue and it will give me a exact result what happened with that so I will just go and search with the keyword and it will highlight all the VBE and according to that I can see how many VBE are listed into the ESX, uh, into the VM kernel log and I, will, I can see same as this keyword so 
so it will show here the same thing so let me get quit from here and I will start with a other log uh, that is host D log actually So same thing open here but the logs are different so see if you have any doubt with the agent which is causing an issue you can go and trace I cannot teach you the troubleshooting steps how can you troubleshoot how can you see the logs but I can see how I can, I can show you how can we go to the VM kernel logs and VM case summary logs USB VA hosey logs and sysboot logs and where it is reside so this is the video is just for you to get knowledge on how to work on logs and how to check the logs and where the logs are residing so same thing is also here let's say if I am just selecting a sign and let me check and search for a sign keyword I just type assign and all the assigned keywords are well, highlighted into my screen I can see if I have assigned something to that uh, user or something with a with a application or any runtime so might can might that can be an issue so let oh, I can start troubleshooting to the to this uh, highlighted option right so VPX user if there is something wrong with the user if I am I have a doubt on it I will just search for it I went into this uh, edit log edit option so let me so now you can see the, all the VPX users are listed so you can start troubleshooting according to that so let me get uh, quit from here and uh, let's start with a VMK summary log. So this is a summary log actually, and uh, if you have any doubt with uh, anything you can check if something is related to the failed and showing any failed error on the screen so you can search fail with a keyword of fail and it will highlight all the fail keyword into the logs or if you have any issues with a block size or any physical device which is causing issue search for the physical you will find all the physical keyword highlighted and you can check the log according to that uh, like uh, if you have installed a VMHBA or if it is not supporting to the to the hardware or the application or the or the software is not matching or any update or any or any drivers are not matching with that that could be a cause of the failure or purple screen so you can check here in the log option and you'll find everything let me get quit from here and uh, let's start USB let's say if you have mounted a one USB into the host
and you can see uh, what type of USB you have mounted and you can start uh, doing troubleshooting according to that let me get quit and let's start with the sysboot log and everything is here if you have any doubt with the keyword if you are f um, getting any error on the screen later to that like a restore configuration or any restore option any driver uh, status uh, showing that uh, it's failed and you are you wanted to check on the storage configuration any sysboot uh, issues if you are ha if you have any doubt with a with a timestamp that let, let's say if something wrong goes uh, according to this date let's say if you, you are running this ESXi host for a long time let's say for a year or two year or just install that host in a month you will find all the logs starting to that uh, that point of uh, time when you have installed you will find logs from there and then you can start troubleshooting according to the date and let's say it is actually my host is still not that performing good actually it's a bit slow so that is why you're feeling lagging so the highlighted options are here you can start troubleshooting according to the date and time and if you have any doubt with the with the with the issues and uh, anything which shows on the screen uh, so you can check what time the error got occur, uh, has occurred and you can start troubleshooting with a timestamp so this is the way only you can check all the logs and you can find out the issues and you can resolve there and there so thank you for watching my video please do subscribe my channel and like my video and share my video if you like thank you for watching have a nice day